welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you all things font with this PTD220 label maker. You actually have 14 fonts built into your machine, and I'm going to show you how to use these fonts, but also how to change the style of these fonts. So it makes the possibilities endless. I'm also going to touch base on accepted characters that are built in with this machine. Before we get started, please thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's do it. All right, this video is going to be jam-packed, so we're going to get right to it. So say we have our word here, we're going to use the word hello. And now we want to change the font. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit font. And then you can have a few options. You'll see font, size, width, style, alignment. Okay, but we're going to start with font. So we've clicked font. We're going to, the first option is font. We're going to hit OK. Now you have 14 fonts to choose from and you can kind of arrow over and see everything that you have. We don't have time today to do every single font individually. However, you do have that option you can go through. So we're gonna just, we'll do this one and hit okay. And you'll notice it said accepted. So when you're viewing this on your label maker, it's showing you this specific font. Now we know we just went and changed our font, but you can't see that. The only way to see that before printing is go ahead and hit this preview button. And now all of a sudden you'll see what that's going to look like when you actually print the label in the words that you've typed. So to get out of that, we'd hit escape. So this is the view on the machine. A preview of what's gonna, what it's gonna look like is this magnifying glass and that's the font for us. And if we're happy with that, we can go ahead and hit print. I just want one copy. And we'll go ahead and use that manual cutter. And then this is how I adjusted our font. So again, we hit font. We're gonna hit, it's, make sure it says the word font or we would arrow to the word font and hit okay. And then from here, you can go through your 15 or 14 options, excuse me, to find the perfect font for you. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how to change the size. So now we've changed our font but now we're gonna change the size of the words. So again, we're gonna hit font this time, but we're gonna arrow to size. Then we're gonna hit okay. You have the option between large, medium, and small. That's pretty easy. I'm gonna show you what a large font would look like. We're gonna go ahead to okay, and you'll notice it says accepted, and then we'll just print. So this is our large font. Now we're gonna do this again, and we're gonna do font. We would arrow to the word size and hit okay. And then to get the most bang for a buck, for example, we're gonna go right to small, and I'm gonna hit okay. You'll notice it said accept it again, and print. And then this is that same font, but in a small size. The next thing I'm going to show you is label width. Now that is not the width of the label tape. This is going to be set in stone at a half an inch or whatever size you have in your machine. I have a half an inch label. When we're talking width, we're talking about the width of the actual letters. So we have the word hello. We'll go ahead and hit font and we would arrow until we hear the word or see the word width and we'll go ahead and hit okay. Right now we're writing with a normal width. That's what we would call normal, these letters. There's the times two option and a half. So we're already in normal. So let's do the times two. Hit OK. It's accepted. Go ahead and hit print. Manual cutter on this. And now you'll see the word hello. The width is double with the letters. The next thing we'll do is I'm going to show you a narrow. So we'll go ahead and hit font. We would arrow until we see the word width. We'll go ahead and hit OK. Then we're going to arrow until we see half. Go ahead and hit OK. And it says accepted. And now we'll hit print. And then this is the half. So double, half, and normal. And just really quickly to give us a blank start, I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift clear. And we're just gonna do, we're gonna clear text and format, which is gonna get rid of all of this that we had just done. So the font size, width, color, things like that. So now we're just gonna retype our word, hello. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to change your label style or your font style. So we'll go ahead and hit font. We're gonna arrow until we see the word 
style and go ahead and hit okay now you have quite a few options you have normal bold italics outline shadow you can get some combinations in here um, let's go ahead i'm going to do an italic shadow just because that's fun and i don't do that very often for examples and we're gonna we hit okay it was accepted and we're gonna print and cut it and then you'll notice here it's that same word However, it's now with an italic kind of shadow. It's in a fun little style of font. And you have quite a few of them to go through. Again, to get there, we would go to font. You would arrow and see until you see the word style and you'd hit okay. And then you would just arrow through your options until you found one that you liked best. Now I'm gonna get out of this by hitting escape. And that's gonna bring me back to my original menu. I hope you're liking what we're doing so far. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I won't bug you anymore. Let's keep going. The next thing I'm going to show you is alignment. So to align our lettering, right now I have it in a center alignment, but I'll show you by going to font. We'd arrow until we see the word alignment. Go ahead and hit OK. And you could align left, center, or right, or you can justify it. So I'm going to show you a left alignment. I'll hit OK, accept it, and we'll print. So there's that for you. And then we'll go ahead and do it again. So font, we'd arrow to alignment, hit OK, and then we'll center it. Okay, let's see here. So this is align it, which you can't really tell too much of a difference with this example, but if you line up your labels, let's see. It looks almost identical, doesn't it? Okay, let's see one more time. I'm trying to think of the best way to get you a very noticeable difference. So we're gonna hit font, alignment, and then we'll go align right and hit okay. And then we'll print. I think you'll really see it more when you are typing words that are multiple lines. Because when it's just one line, it's kind of kind of all look the same because it doesn't really have an arrow. So let's see, let's go hello. And now let's do alignment by hitting font, okay. And now we'll align it right. And I think this is gonna give you a much better view of just than one label or one word. There we go, so hello there. And then let's go check out our margins really quick, okay? So for that, we're gonna hit label. We've already done a video on margins, okay? So right now I have a full margin and I think that's why you're not really able to tell the difference. And now, so I'm gonna go back and hit font alignment. Okay, we're gonna align right. And if you're like, what the heck? She just went through margins so fast. It's because that's not what this video is for. So if you wanna look at margins, go to my other videos. Here we go. So we have a narrow margin, low there, and it's aligned right. So we have this right here. So that was alignment. I know it's kind of hard to tell with this example. However, when you're doing a lot of um, words or chain prints or multiple labels, multiple lines, you will notice that alignment there and the way it prints. And it's a good feature to know. So that was everything under font. So that was how to change your alignment, your font itself, the size, the width of your letters, and then of course the style. So that was a lot to learn. Definitely go back if you need to rewind the video. Happy to answer questions in the comments. The last thing I'm gonna show you is accented characters. So I'm just gonna clear my screen. The next thing I'm gonna show you is an accented character. So to do this, you would type in your letter that you want and then you would hit accent. And you'll notice you have a little accent that's developed on there and you can arrow through your options and it's going to change at the top here. See that? And then once you found one that you like, you'd go ahead and hit okay and you have that option right there. So again, you would hit your letter and then you hit accent and then you're gonna notice you have a little character at the top here and you would just keep hitting the word accent or the arrow button until you find the option that you need and go ahead and hit okay. And it's as easy as that. I'll see you next week while we continue on with this PTD 220 label maker.